Hello and welcome to another session of our Java tutorial. Today we are going to see how to, how to create a simple calculator in Java. Uh, so the first thing we do is uh, create a scanner. Uh, so we say scanner here and we call our object uh, scanner. So we will have to uh, get, a, get a package called java.util.scanner uh, which we will then use this scanner class to access our the its methods. So we say new and then scanner and then system.in system.in and then so uh, what basically is happening is that uh, this scanner class here we are using we are creating this object called the scan uh, based on this scanner class and we will be able to access its methods and if I over like this I'll be able to import the this this package here and then uh, so we will the, the methods that we will be able to access include uh, next double next line which reads a string next double reads double and so on and then it will be able to help us to read the input from the user and the next thing we do is to prompt the user to enter the first number so for that we will use system system dot out dot print line all right and then we tell the user to we tell the user to enter the first number so system dot out dot print ln and then we tell the user to enter the first number so we say enter first number so we type here enter first number all right and then the, the the number that the user enters we will have to store it somewhere so we have to create a variable of type double so we say double this one will store our uh, the, the number that the user will enter so let's call it num1 equals to and then this scan will scan on uh, the keyboard and see which number the user entered so we use dot next double all right this is the one here and then the next thing we do is uh, we prompt the user again to enter another number because we need two numbers to do a math calculation so we, we use another sys out so we say sys out and then we say enter enter second enter second number enter second number all right so enter second number mm, all right so once the user enters the second number we will have to store it as well so we have to create another variable we call it of type double we call it uh we call it num2 num2 equals to scan dot next double next double all right so so now we have two numbers and they are stored in our two variables so what is the next thing we need to do we we now need to prompt the user to enter an operator so it, the operator can be an addition a subtraction a multiplication or a division so we use another system sys out sys out and then we say um, enter an operator okay enter an operator and then let's put a let's open like this and then operator can be a plus it can be minus it can be multiplication it can be division and then and then that's it and then we, we store it in a in a in a variable called operator of char type uh, operator equals to so we use this scanner to scan what the user entered and we use next so we use next and then dot dot and then char at char at index zero all right and then now we have everything we need the we have the first number we have the operator and it, it has been stored everything is stored in its own variable so the next line 
is now to store uh, to create another variable called result of type double and we initialize it with the zero so we say double and then results all right so uh, I did not explicitly say equals to 0, 0.00 because uh, Java will just um, will do a will calculate this as 0, 0.00 and then the next thing now we do is to use the switch statement to see what the user entered if they entered an addition then the Java program will will add uh, the first number and the second number so we say uh, we use a switch operator we say like switch and then operator and then open with curly braces all right like that and then we say uh, case so we use case case if it's an addition all right if it's an addition then what do you do so let's say result equals to norm one norm one plus norm two and then we use the break statement to terminate the switch if that is the case so we say break all right and then we go to the next case uh, the next case will be case let's say um subtraction so case subtraction and then result will be uh norm one minus norm two all right then we use the break statement again to terminate it, if that is the case and then the third one we say case uh, multiplication multiplication if it's multiplication then result will be results will be num1 multiplied by num2 all right we use another break statement here all right and then we go to the third and the fourth case actually so you say case um let's say division so if it's division then what what do we do the result will be the result equals to num1 divided by num2 and then break and then the, the last one we do now is the default so after we have we've uh, finished all these scenarios of addition subtraction multiplication and division the last one is the default what if the user does not insert any of this so we say default and then we say sysout sysout and then uh we tell the user it's a, there is an error error invalid invalid operator okay invalid operator and then the last statement we don't use a break here so we just say return so return whatever uh, whatever result is is, is uh, the user inserted here so and then the last thing we do now is to print the result so we come here with another sys out and then we say the result we say the result the result is and then plus plus results and then so everything we have is done everything is done let's see if our logic is working guys so let me save this and run it enter first number let's enter seven and then enter enter second number let's enter five enter an operator let's enter multiplication the result is 35 seven times five is 35 and that is correct so guys that's all for today thank you so much and please subscribe to this channel